Good morning, everybody. This is Alexandre from Angel Cartomancy, and welcome on today's new episode. Today's topic is all about cutting your cards. Many card readers like to handle their cards to uh, the querent and ask them to cut the deck. And this technique can bring amazing information into your reading. So let's go on the reading table and I'm going to show you how to cut the cards and how to do the interpretation. Okay, for this video demonstration, I am going to use the, my classic Lenormand with uh, golden edges to help me in this mission. So after you shuffle the cards and focus on the question of your client, you will just, you know, um, if you're doing the cards for yourself, you will get it. But if the person is in front of you, I always like to invite the person to do the cutting. Okay. This is a personal preference because I know that many of you don't like have people touching their cards, but I like to make the person uh, getting the reading, they participate in the process. So you, you just ask them, or you do it yourself, you just cut the deck into two, and then you flip. And you read the two cards together. This will give you um, a notion of what's going on, what are the energy uh, around the situation, um, you know, it's not the answer yet. It's just, you know, a, a snapshot of what is going on and why this person may be asking this question. So let's practice some uh, examples so you get a better understanding. Okay, so uh, let's say that Mary comes to me for... Uh, a love reading she is engaged with John but she is thinking that John may be cheating on her so she will ask the card uh, to give an information okay so I invite her to cut the deck okay focusing on her question Mary wants to know if John is really actually uh, cheating on her remember that the cut is not the answer is an, you know, a snapshot, what is going on. So here we see that there is stressful discussion. Uh, they are reproaching each other uh, certain things. Uh, the birds here is the couple and it is being stressed and eaten away by the mice. So there is, you know, a tension going on. I can tell Mary, you know, I see your couple um, like, you know, going bit by bit the quality of your conversation of your couple is actually uh, being eaten away, is degrading. Uh, something is spoiling your couple, okay? So then you will do the reading to see if really there is actually uh, a cheating. But from there, you have the notion that the couple is not going well at this present moment. Let's say that Mary had applied to a job, okay? And she wants to know if she is going to get this job, okay? So we cut the cards, flip. Okay, so we see here that Mary is stressed, okay? Mary is very stressed. We see it with the mice. But the side here tell me that uh, it's, you know, it's over. There is an ending, so there, there is a kind of relief coming from that. I can get the sense that maybe she is more of getting the job. But what I know at the, at the moment with the cut is that, you know, uh, the uh, depression, the anxiety that she is in now is going to be over anytime soon. So let's say that uh, um, John has signed a contract and he wants to know if 
he uh, is going to actually get some money out of it this will this contract be profitable to him okay so let's see what the court has to say okay here there is a, <laughs> a heartbreak okay so this can tell me but that maybe he is asking this question because uh, maybe he feels that he had missed an opportunity okay uh, there is something that hurt him here that maybe he had seen after signing the contract but you know there is a sort of tension here the card is at peace with the scythe here for me it's a broken heart or a wounded heart so maybe he is not trusting as well this uh, corporation or company that he had signed contract with okay so what we can see here that the, the heart is not at peace and maybe he's asking the question because of that I hope that this video has brought some insight and some inspiration to you and I invite you to subscribe, like and share this video with all of your friends who are like me or passionate about Oracle cards.